In 1299, a prince from Palembang arrived on an island called Temase. He was known by many names, including Sangnila Utama and Sri Tribuana. And Sri Tribuana came to a very large high rock. He climbed onto the top of this rock and looking across the water, he saw that the land on the other side had sand so white that it looked like a sheet of cloth. And he asked Indra Bopa, what is that stretch of sand that we see yonder? What land is that? And Indra Bopa replied, that, your highness, is the land called Tamasi. And Sri Tribuana said, let us go to them. At that time, the Srivijaya Empire was in decline. Port cities rose to fill the power vacuum. It was then that Sangnila Utama arrived on Tamasi. According to the Malay annals, when Sangnila Utama and his company arrived on the island, they went inland to hunt for sport when they saw a strange animal. It moved with great speed and had a red body and black head. Its breast was white. It was strong and active in build. Damang Labar Daun, former king of Palemba, told Sangnila Utama that such an animal was known as a lion in ancient times. Sangnila Utama decided to establish a city in Tumasi and named it Singapura, meaning Lion City, and ruled for 48 years until he died. The Kingdom of Singapore became a successful port city, due in part to booming Nanhai trade in the South China Sea and the cycles of monsoon winds that brought traders to its port frequently. And this is the story of how Singapore came to be.